Hello everybody, this is Peter B. And today I'm gonna to talk about Fred McGriff, the newly inducted Hall of Fame player. He was voted in by the Contemporary Era Committee and he was a 16 vote unanimous choice. He played from 1986 to 2004, 2,490 hits, 493 home runs, and a .284 batting average. He was a five-time five -time All-Star, and he hit 30 home runs with five different teams. He came up with the Toronto Blue Jays and played with them from 1986 to 1990. In 1989, he hit the first home run, first Blue Jay home run at the Sky Dome. And in 1989, he led the America League with 36 home runs. He was then traded to the San Diego Padres, where he played from 1990 to 1993. In 1991 was his first of many All-Star Game appearances. And in 1992, he led the National League in home runs with 35. Then on to the Atlanta Braves from 1993 to 97. In the strike shortened 1994 season, he was hitting 318 with 34 home runs at the end of August before play stop. He was the 1994 All-Star Game MVP. And he helped the Braves win the World Series in 1995. He then went to his hometown, Tampa Bay Devil Rays from 1999 to 2001. He was traded just before the start of the season. So he was one of the very first Tampa Bay Devil Ray players. On to the Chicago Cubs from 2001 to 2002. Then the Los Angeles Dodgers from 2003. And then back to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays in 2004. He only batted 181 with only two home runs from the end of May to mid-July. So he was released July 28, 2004. Just seven home runs shy of 500. So my question is, which logo will be on his Hall of Fame plaque? Will it be from his first team, the Toronto Blue Jays, where he had success playing with them and helped them win a World Series? Or will it be the San Diego Padres, where he got his first All-Star Game invite? Or will it be the Atlanta Braves? Some people think that he was a main ingredient that the super team of the Braves finally won the World Series after trying hard so many times. Could it be the Chicago Cubs? He did play for them for two seasons, but nothing really exciting happened there. All the Los Angeles Dodgers. Once again, he was on the disabled list a lot and nothing really exciting happened there. I think it should be the Toronto Blue Jays where he started. That would make him the second Blue Jay representative on the Wall of Hall of Fame plaques. Roberto Alomar has a Blue Jays logo. Roy Halladay probably should have a Blue Jays logo, but he had his real good seasons in both Toronto and with the Phillies. And after he died, when he was inducted into Hall of Fame, 
his family decided to have no logo on his cap. So he can represent both cities by having no logo. I think McGriff should go in as a Blue Jay. What do you guys think? Thank you.